One year has passed and after many, many requests, it is finally time for the Iron Man 2016 bank video. We're going to jump straight into it right now. Uh, just a heads up, the bank has changed quite a lot since last year, as you can tell. Exactly one year since the last bank video. So let's jump straight into it. So... The first thing you're going to see is obviously the massive cash stack, 253 million. Most of that is from the crafting, uh, from alking the battle staff. So now we have a pretty tasty cash stack. One of the goals we're going to do later on is the one bill cash stack on the Iron Man. So that is already a quarter of the way there. I plan to do that mostly through um, alchemy and PVM, just alking the rune items. We've got a lot of the rune items in our bank right now, which we can alk later on. But for now, it's in the tab. So we have all of our range stuff here. Um, most of the main tab is made up of the, uh, the range ammo. And then we've got um, the black dehyde, all of the uh, miscellaneous armor, really, the grays for. The stuff that I'm going to use quite a bit. Uh, we've got the void here with the uh, the cannon. I'm going to use that quite a lot. I, I tend to pull this out. And now that we've got placeholders, all of this is going to stay in place. Last year when I had the bank video, um, I had to keep moving it all around and making sure that I didn't move stuff out of place because we didn't have this placeholder option. But now when I take it out, it goes straight back in the same place. That is awesome. But yeah, range tab mostly, just like uh, the last one. And then we just have the miscellaneous kind of items. Like the rune gloves I use for like wilderness bosses mostly. And then barrage gloves is the main. So, into the next tab, we have our seed and herb tab. So we've got all the tree seeds here, um, ranging from high-level tree seeds all the way down to uh, fruit tree seeds as well. We've got all of our herbs. Now, keep in mind this is post-99 uh, herb law, so a lot of the herbs we've actually used for potions, but we've been building these up a lot recently. So there's some massive stacks here, like the tall stoles and the dwarf weeds are still monster stacks right now. Uh, further down, we have our herb law secondaries. So this is mostly just for the herb law. And then all of our tree saplings and tools, all in one nice little tab here. Seeds on the, le on the left, herbs on the right. Looking very tasty indeed. All right, so the next tab is the clue tab. Uh, I've put the third age range top as the placeholder, and that looks very nice in the tab there, so that has to be at the top. All of our teleport scrolls. Uh, we have various um, dehyde here, uh, capes. We've got master clue items now that master clues have come out. We've got a little Croizer's collection. Uh, just thought I'd order it out to look a lot nicer, so a lot of the same things are together here. Uh, also keep in mind that a lot of the set items are inside our house right now. This is just um, items I can't really put in the house, just because they're uncompleted sets. But I plan to later on hopefully complete some of these sets so we can put them in the house. But for now, this is uh, looking very nice indeed. Right, onto the runes tab next. So a lot of runes after the, uh, after the 99 rune crafting. Uh, a lot of these stacks are actually... Uh, white stacks now, so over 100k runes, definitely looking um, a lot nicer. We've um, put all of our staffs under this, just because um, it goes quite quite well together with the with the runes. I feel, and then we've got some of the teleport methods here. You might be wondering the bananas. What the hell are they, uh, those there for? That's for the Apatol teleport, and then we just got Ectophile, Royal Sea Puff for the Grand Tree, and then like Zora and Dorkshan Khan tabs there as well. But yeah, the runes. Um, Probably need to get like more blood runes just to wear. Uh, I'd like to get all these stacks to like white stacks. These here I don't really bother too much about, but it's nice to fill in the bank a little bit more. So on to the next tab, we have our um, ores and gems tab. This is for like smithing and crafting. One of my favorite tabs actually. Uh, we've moved in the onyxes now to go with the rest of the gems, but that's looking very, very nice there. Uh, we've not actually finished our 99 smithing yet, so we're, uh, we're starting to stack up ore now from mining to finish that. Uh, the bars are looking tasty as well. A lot of these ores here are from PVM. But we started to mine um, a bunch from Motherload Mine. So yeah, the coal's getting up there, the Addy's there. We're going to turn on these the bars and that will get us the uh, the 99 smithing. But yeah, nice collection of gems as well. We've been doing some gem rock mining recently. So a lot of these gems are at their peak right now. Going to turn these into probably some trading sticks. I can buy some more Karamwams for the uh, for the Court Beast streams. Right, on to the food tab. So we, we uh, use this tab quite a lot. Uh, a lot of the sharks were from the Zora grind we did. We did a 10,000 Zora grind this year. A lot of those sharks were from that. Karamwams, I used a lot of corp as well, so these are always uh, being bought out. Uh, always uh, running low on these, so I need to buy some more of those. But that's what the gems are going to be used for, for the trading sticks, because that's how I transfer them to the bank. Then we have all our potions here. The potions are a lot more ordered now, so we've got all of our Comet ones here. Poisons, Sarah Brews with the Super Restores, the Energy Potions, uh, Anti-Fires Prayer Potions. So every single kind of potion you can need. We've got a good amount of supplies of these as well. And obviously from the Herb tab, uh, there's a lot more to be made whenever needed. But for now, this is a nice amount of supplies there. Uh, mostly right now, we're just using all this food for Corp. Uh, that's the only kind of boss we're doing. 
as we have completed most of the items already until raids come out, which should be uh, later next year. So uh, very, very soon, actually, after this video. So on to the next tab now. I, now, last year, I said this tab was called the PogChamp tab, and uh, it definitely still is. So here it is. It is looking very, very different to last year. Uh, fairly organized uh, the same, but this year we have a lot more stuff, including obviously some more corp drops. I think last year I said I'd be happy if I got a Holy Elixir or a Blessed Spirit Shield, and now we are sitting here with four Spectral Sigils, one Arcane, and then um, obviously the Blessed Spirit Shield there ready to claim the Ellie. The Ellie is one of the last items we need, so we are attempting to uh, kill corp right now uh, to try and get that. And that will look uh, very nice in the tab there to complete it. But yes, we have uh, all of our God Wars items here. So we got Armado items, Bandos, uh, Zamorak. The Steam Battle Staffs are actually in our uh, tab here. I thought it looked a lot better in here. So I've not bothered to put the Steam Battle Staffs there. I think the Haster and the Zami Spear look a lot better there. We've got Saradomen drops. Uh, there is actually a Saradomen light you can get from Saradomen, but... Uh, not really worth to put in the bank. Like all you do for that is consume it. So I've put the uh, the dragon fire shield and dragon warhammer there for now, as they go quite well, uh, quite well together. And then the god sword shards here as well uh, for any extra blades we get in the future. We've got all of our zora drops here, so all the mutagens. We have all of the main uh, zora loots. We've got some of the big stacks as well. So the flax, the grapes, the pure essence, all of these you get from zora quite a bit. The uh, the quite slimy drops you'd normally get as well. Thought I'd throw those in there. And then a huge stack of scales after doing that 10k Zora. And then our uh, Trident and Blowpipe there as well. We've got quite a lot of rings now. I've uh, been stacking up a bunch of rings from the Wilderness Bosses. We have every single ring. So we have got the imbued versions of the Dagonoff rings. And then we have the imbued versions of the Wilderness Boss rings as well. All of these boots here are from uh, the Cerberus. So Pagasian Primordial and Eternal Boots. And then we move on to the Dragon. So I've decided to do uh, three rows of each for the Rune and Dragon. We've got all of our Trimmed Dragon here. One of my favorite sets to wear is probably still the Trimmed Dragon G. I would say that's my signature outfit right now. I tend to put this on a lot. Um, we've got all the weapons on the right-hand side here. I've tried to order these out the exact same for the Rune as well. So we've got all the armor on the side here. And then we move into the weapons. Now a lot of these could be out later on towards the one bill cash type. But I, I feel like I, I'd i rather have them in the bank. Because it looks a lot, a lot nicer in the tab rather than just like a cash stack. Because 256 min is enough. So these items look, definitely look a lot better in the bank uh, below the dragon there. If we move down, we have uh, some various other armor sets here. We've got the ranger set here. Uh, multiple of these, multiple ranger boots now and ranger tunics with the Robin Hood hats there. We've got the mystics, mostly from Slayer you get these. Uh, you get a lot of these uh, mystic robe tops and bottoms from Corp. That's why we stacked up quite a bit of those. Um, we move on to the split bark here. Uh, I think most of these are from um, the wilderness bosses as well. Granite from the Slayer, I thought I'd throw that in there as well. Uh, a lot of this Addy you get from um, PVM as well. The KBD tends to drop the Addy kite shields in the plate bodies. So I thought I'd throw those in there as well to fill it up. We've got our whips here as well. So all of the whip collections, the dyed ones as well from the Bounty Hunter Storm. We've got the, uh, the Wilderness Shields. Uh, a lot of these here are also Slayer drops. The free jars. Uh, I've not got all the jars yet. I would, I would like to get the rest of them. I think I need the Jar of Souls the Jar of Darkness, and there's probably one more as well. But for now, those look very, very nice there. So yeah, all of these Slayer drops here, we have a few um, heads. I could go and collect some more of these, but for now we've just got the KBD heads and the Carfight Queen with the uh, the big sharks there as well. Uh, Demonic Gorillas, uh, here's the drops from those. So we've got the Zenite Jewelry here. Thought I'd put the, uh, the Fury and the Region Bracelet next to it because it looks a lot nicer with the jewelry there. We've got the uh, the Heavy Ballista, the Frames, uh, the Zenite Shards you can make into the Zenite Jewelry here. And then on the side we have our Javelins with the Javelin Shafts there. We camped Demonic Gorillas for quite a while so we stacked up a lot of these. And uh, a lot of these Javelins can be used for the for the Ballista here. We got bones as well. Uh, we are 99 prayer now, so these are bones from Zora post uh, 99, and then the curved bones and long bones, mostly from um, bossing grinds. A lot of these were from the lizard man. Um, sh well, actually, I think I got one curved bone from the lizard man shamans. So a bunch of those were probably from trolls, but eight of those, 68 long bones, could trade them in for some XP. But I think right now we've actually completed construction, so we don't actually need to trade those in. So it's nice to put in the loot tab as well. And then we've got our champion scrolls here. Our only champion scrolls, but uh, they're definitely nice to put in the collection there. But that is the overall, that is the huge tab there. 
Uh, we're going to price check it all after and see what it's worth on the on the bank overlay. All right, on to the next tab, but we have the, um, we've actually put skill capes at the top of this one now. This is all like our jewelry miscellaneous skilling tab. So these are actually the skill capes we got in the order of uh, the 99. So yeah, we start with the hunter first onto the range, then obviously the, the combat skills, and then we started powering out a bunch of these uh, skills as well. So we currently have 20 99s on the account. We've also got the quest cape, uh, the achievement diary cape, and the music cape as well. So that's all the achievement ones done as well. And then our fire cape there for the uh, for the last slots. So yeah, if I scroll down here, we've got all of our jewelry. Uh, moving into uh, just skilling supplies, really, we've got all of our um, Mauritania gear. We have our um, lumberjack with the prospector as well for skilling. But yeah, diary items there. Uh, we have skilling supplies moving down. So a lot of this tab is, is, is very, very random, but it's items that you'd need for skilling um, every so often. And it's nice to have in the bank just in case. So I keep this in this tab here below all the jewelry there. But um, if we move on to the next tab, this one also looks very, very random as well. Uh, this is mostly for clue scrolls. For clue scrolls, for like masters, you're going to need a lot of different items to do certain like Sherlock challenges or follow the bard. So some of these items are for like the follow the bard clues. And then some of them are for the uh, clue scroll challenges from Sherlock, like make a green yard body or say burn a redwood log. Uh, most of those are for that, but yeah, it looks very, very random, but it's a very, very useful tab for those clue scrolls. And then finally, onto the Barrows tab. So a very familiar tab, the exact same as last year. Um, I don't think we've got many more Barrows items since last year, but yeah, just the uh, all the sets here, the Verax, the Darox, Arims, Guffins, uh, Carol, and Torax. All of those are there with the Bolrax as well, looking very, very nice. And overall, that is the bank. So... Let's turn on the um, the bank overlay here and see how, see how much the bank is actually worth altogether. Right now, um, it says 3 billion exactly. So 3 billion on the dot. If I go through some of these tabs here, this one is worth 163 mil for the C tab. We have 82 mil for the clue tab there. Um, 296 mil for the runes tab. That's because a lot of these runes are obviously over 100k right now. Uh, for the ores tab, we have 269 mil. Uh, like this Runite ore stack here is 108 mil alone, so that's uh, mostly from that. We have the food at 158 mil, so 23 million sharks there. Yeah, a lot of these potions, like 53 mil for the brews there. That's incredible. Damn. Um, this tab is, well, 1.6 billion. This is the big boy tab at 1.6 bill in the bank right now. This pretty much does have like all of our PVM stuff in though. Uh, all of our drops, all of our gear that we use. So yeah, 1.6 bill is definitely um, definitely uh, the biggest tab of, of them all. Uh, this tab, 36 mil, not too much in it, obviously, just the jewelry. Still adds up, though, with uh, a lot of these supplies here uh, that we don't really need to use much anymore, but we have them in the bank uh, anyway. Uh, 6.4 mil for that one, just miscellaneous items, and then the 66.5 mil for the Barrows tab. Not too bad at all. So yeah, overall 3 billion. Um, definitely increase. I think 1.5 bill is what we were at last year. So we've doubled our bank within a year. Um, last year we actually completed most of the drops. So since then we've just been burning up skilling supplies and probably stuff like the sigils, which has been adding to the bank value. Like even this will add on more bank value. I don't think those. Oh, okay, it's 131 mil now for those sigils there. That's why the bank is now at free bill because I think those before weren't really counting. But that's nice how it says exactly free bill there now. Right on to next, we're going to check our um our Slayer and boss logs here just to see how they've changed from last year. So we have completed 99 Slayer now. Uh, here are the Slayer kill logs. So the um, the high level monsters are down here. Let's These are the more interesting ones. So yeah, 2k smoke devils, 2.7k dart beasts, a lot of cave krakens, a lot of abyssal demons. 8,000 abyssal demons is one of our highest ones there. Did a lot of those. Aberrant uh, Spectres 5.3 mil adds towards the, uh, the herbal supplies. Cave horrors as well. We used to do for a lot of um, seeds, clue scrolls and stuff like that. And then the Blood Vow is also very, very nice for XP. But overall, that's pretty standard for the uh, for the 99 Slayer there. We've also got our Ring of Wealth here to check the uh, boss log. Let's have a look at this right now. Uh, so yeah, let's run through these real quick. We've got uh, God Wars bosses here. So Kriar at 500, Commander Zillian at 420, uh, Grador 438, Zami at 447, Dagonoff Rex 753, Dagonoff Prime 683. Supremes at 718, Giant Mole 3341, that's because of a lot of the Herbler we were doing. 
Carvac Queens at 817. King Black Dragon, 2849. I tend to do a lot of that boss on the Black Dragon tasks. Callisto at 38. We actually completed the ring quite quick there, so that's not changed much since then. I haven't really been back to that boss. It's quite a, it's quite a hard boss to do. Uh, 700 Venonatus, 734 Vettians, quite the same. Four Chaos Elementals, not much uh, done there. All I need to do is one kill for the diary. I haven't really been back to that boss. Chaos Fanatic 13. Now, the thing about these kill counts here is they recently released um, the kill counts for the demi bosses. So, a lot of these were done before they were released, which is why they're so low. Uh, we've got our 1,417 barrage chests there. Uh, we probably completed the arms at 1,340. So, since then, we've just been doing barrows for, say, elite clues uh, for master clue scrolls, most likely. 1.3k court beast now. We are definitely hunting down that Ellie right now. Um, obviously, last year we were not even at 100 yet, I believe, or just over 100, but now we are at 1.3k. The grind is real for that Ellie, which is absolutely beautiful. Uh, Zora, 10,000 Zoras. Our 10,000 Zora grind was done this year as well. That's why we've got so many of the supplies in the bank right now. 62 Jads, did a lot of those on the Slayer. Kraken's 2,464. 635 Smoke Devils. Uh, 1,045 Cerberus, 544 Abyssal Size, 2 Scotizos, 40 Wintertard, and 0 Obors, which is the free-to-play Hill Giant boss. Not bothered to go to him at all, as um, not very useful drops to us at all. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go check my playtime. So I'm going to teleport to Lumbridge here and go to uh, to Hans. Uh, let's go and find, I think he must be around this way here. Check the playtime, and then we'll uh, show the skills as well. So you can kind of see like uh, how we've progressed our accounts uh, since the last video here. And also what skills we've got in this playtime as well. So our playtime right now is 315 days, 2 hours. And these are the skills that we've got out of that combined with the uh, the bank that I've just shown as well. So we currently do have 20 99s. Uh, these two columns are complete. The last column we are working on is this column. Uh, woodcutting, mining and smithing remain. So the next 99 should be the woodcutting, followed by the mining, and then finally the smithing. Now, a beautiful thing would be uh, making the Ellie for the final 99 for the Mats Cape. That would be the dream. It just depends uh, when we get the Ellie from Corp. If I get it really close to the 99 smithing, I will totally save it to get 99 smithing on that, because that would be beautiful. Claiming the Mats Cape straight after as well. So we're going to go to our house now. There's a few more items inside the treasure trail boxes we're going to check. As I said, I can't really store all of my clue items in the boxes as they need to be completed sets. So if we run through these now, you can kind of see what kind of other items we have got inside here. I'm going to run through all of these quickly, so easy. Just going to scroll down through these. Uh, a lot of these we're going to probably complete later on, but for now we've got a few items. I haven't really done many easy clues. You know, easy clues are tends to be the one I don't really do that much as all you need from those is pages. Um, medium clue scrolls. Uh, we have quite a lot of items actually. We did a, a Bandos Cloak grind for the Master Clues and also a Ranger Boot grind as well. So uh, some of these items I, I keep in my bank, but we have like mostly sets in here and items I don't really want to fill up the bank with. So headbands, uh, Adamant Heraldic. We've got the Elegant Clothes here as well. Wizard Boots are in there. Uh, Mithril Armor, Leprechaun Hats. A lot of headbands, a lot of boaters, a lot of the masks as well. I'd l I would like to complete a lot of these sets, but you need like six pieces or so to complete those. Got the Town Cry set there, Holy Sandals, a Clueless Scroll, uh, quite a few of the banners and the Cabbage uh, Round Shield there. Onto the Hard Clues, we have uh, the Rune Heraldic, uh, some of the Dehyde sets, the Gold and Trimmed Rune Armor, a lot of the Hat Wear, the Cavaliers, the Pirate Hats, the Zamorak and Serdim Rune Armor, the Guffix, a lot of the Rune Heraldic Helms there. Uh, Trim Glories, I think we've got those in our in our bank right now. Some of these Vestiment sets we need to complete. A lot of, of uh, the Blessed Dragonhide there. Um, scrolling down, we have the Cavaliers, uh, the Bandos Rune Armor, the Ancients. So I think we do actually have um, all of the Blessed Dehyde completed there. Dragon Masks as well. Uh, and then we have the Gilded. I've actually not got a Gilded piece yet. Still uh, need a gilded piece. I think these ones here are third age as well. Oh, we've got this, the boots as well. Yeah, the boots. I've not done hard clues since then to claim any of those, so we need to get some of these completed as well, which would be really, really nice. Okay, onto the elite ones here. Um, we have some of the sets of the royal set there, some of the dragon masks there, uh, the miscellaneous items like the katana, the big pirate hat, the monocle, party hat and specs, uh, the deer stalker, the heavy casket there as well. 
and then a lot of these items are the third age items there. It's going to be very, very hard to fill those. I think when we fill all the items, we're not going to really going to go for the third age items. Maybe just uh, some of these, like the Blasphemy Helm or the, or the Scarfs, just to fill it up. And on to the Master one here. Uh, Master is the newest tier of Clue Scroll added to the game. Um, so we do have some of these items here. A lot of the masks we've got. Jungle Demon Mask, the Ale of the Gods. Bolwig, Shazian and Hoods. Uh, the Lover, Kane Hood there as well. Uh, there's not much in there. Most of these are set, so to put them in there, you will need to get the whole, um, say, the whole um, samurai set or mummy set there. I think right now we've got like three of the um, samurai outfit pieces, so we need to look for two more of those to complete that one. But uh, the last thing I'm going to show here is going to be our clue scrolls completed. So I'm going to run over to, um, to Watson here to check these leaderboards. But yeah, overall... Some really good progress right now on the streams right now. Uh, we are actually working on the mining uh, on stream and then off stream we are doing the woodcutting. So two tick uh, woodcutting is the way I like to do it as we have completed the construction uh, fletching um, already and the fire making as well. So I don't really need logs anymore. So two tick teaks is perfect because all you got to do for that is just drop the logs real quick and then you gain a... Pretty much like uh, the fastest XP in the game for woodcutting. So here are our clue scrolls here. We have the 119 easy clues, as I said, not really completed that much. Mediums 487, hard clue scrolls 823. Those tend to be our favorite ones. We've done a lot of green dragon grinds where we've got a lot of hard clue scrolls. Also the slayer grind as well gave us a lot of those. 233 elite treasure trails and 85 master clues. And in total, 1,740,000 ,000 treasure trails. All right, guys, that's going to sum up the bank video there. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Uh, who knows? Next year could be another bank video looking even more juicy. But uh, I'll catch you later, guys. Have a good one. And thank you for watching. Make sure to slap that like video if you pog champed IRL. Be seeing you guys. See you later.